people that are really high in agreeableness are, I don't know, how do you describe it? They're just lovely. They're really, really nice. Okay. Agreeableness is just, it's just good to be around. It's, they're, they're really, um, it's a combination of of both compassion, so they're quite warm, but also this politeness. The fact that they're they're wanting to make sure that they they don't take advantage of others. So there's a sense of fairness there. So a person who's high in agreeableness, there's a you know they're the person that you're going to go to if you need someone to talk to. That that they have a high degree of sympathy and warmth and tenderness about them. Um, and, and you can also trust them. They have a, a, a really high level of respect. Now, remembering that we all vary on our agreeableness or on all of our personality characteristics. So all of us have a level of agreeableness. Um, but those who are really, really high are this kind of, um, arguably, you know, warm, sympathetic, but also polite and, and focused on fairness. Now, if you think about a person who was high, um, in agreeableness walking into a bar, this person, um, unlike perhaps the uh, extrovert, they, they can be high in agreeableness and extroversion, but they're, they're going to be the person who's going to um, who, to listen to other stories. They're going to demonstrate compassion. They're the, they're the person that people fall in love with, I guess, um, because they know that they're heard. There's a tenderness about them. So this person is going to come to the bar. They might sit down and they go, oh, is, is anybody sitting here? They're not going to trample on the conversation that's existing because they're polite. They don't want to step on anybody's toes. Um, they don't want to take advantage of someone else. Is someone else sitting here? No, no worries. Do you mind if I sit with you? Um, and they're also going to, there's going to be a real warmth there. They're going to say, oh, how was your week? And, and, um, and, and basically really engage with, with you as a human. Um, so if you, if a person is low in agreeableness, they're, they're going to be, um, more competitive. They're going to be colder. They're going to be tougher. All right. Now, the characteristic of agreeableness is a really, really important characteristic, particularly when you're operating in a team. So agreeableness is made up of a combination of politeness and compassion. So politeness speaks to this idea that, that there's a real respect for other people. And we know these people, that they're, they're not always putting their own views forward. They're, there's a sense of politeness and, and they want to demonstrate respect for other people. There's also a sense they don't like, really make an effort not to take advantage of other people. Okay, so someone who's high in agreeableness is really going to make sure that you feel respected, that you're um, that you're not taken advantage of, um, and that those kind of I guess social rules are followed. But there's also this other component of agreeableness, which is this idea of compassion. So there's a real warmth in a person that um, is highly agreeable. This is the kind of person you fall in love with. They're, you know, they'll, they'll sidle up to you and, oh, hey, how are things going? And there's, a, there's no self-interest there or less self-interest there, I guess. There's a real tenderness, um, a real warmth and a real sympathy. Um, now, if an, a person who's high in agreeableness turns up to the bar, they're actually coming with an intention of engaging with the people around them. Okay. They want to, um, there's a, there's a tendency for them to want to hear the stories of people around them to demonstrate that warmth and tenderness and to connect with people around them. Um, now it's not to say that you can't be high in agreeableness and high in extroversion. You absolutely can. So this can look like different things in different, um, combinations, but there, this person is somebody who, when you spend time with them, you're going to feel like you're the center of their universe. Okay. So agreeableness at a bar is absolutely fantastic. You know, that person is going to be there for you. They're not going to take advantage of you. They're going to look out for you. You will feel heard. Um, you'll feel loved and uh, agreeableness, an amazing characteristic. Not entirely sure that I'm that high in some of the components of agreeableness.